Hi, and welcome to Times Square Today, the morning show that matters. My name is Greg Roulette, and in this episode of Times Square Today, I am very privileged to be speaking with one of the Midwest's top tax resolution specialists, Lance Jury. Lance, welcome to the show. Greg, great to be here with you in the Big Apple. Yeah, it's, it's a fun time. It's very exciting. And we're going to be talking about some incredible things that you do in your business. And I'd love it if we could just start by talking about some of the things that you do to help clients out in the Midwest. Well, I do a lot of different things for people. I help people with audits. I help people get out of criminal charges. I just had a woman, she was having the IRS breathe down her neck for six months before I convinced them to leave her alone. Mm -hmm. uh, we get a lot of garnishments lifted. I work out resolutions with the Internal Revenue Service for them also. But basically, I help them get rid of their fear, take care of their problem, give them back the peace of mind that they want. And that's really what your clients need. They need that peace of mind to get back into it. Now, it's kind of an interesting career because when you were six, seven, eight years old, you weren't dreaming of doing what you were doing today, but there's probably a moment that, that got you into this career, wasn't there? Well, there were several moments. The first thing that I did, and it's very similar, I was a criminal defense attorney for many years. So I had a background with seeing how Big Brother and the government and all the power of government comes down upon innocent people. And then I had a couple clients that I just started working in this area and I saw the fear and the pain, the sleepless nights, they're taking yeah. their business away, they're destroying their health. And that's when, that's really the moment when I decided this is what I wanted to do with my life. Yeah, now let's talk a little bit about the, the, the state of your industry because there's still a lot of people in need in your area, aren't there? Oh, there are, definitely. Now, one of the things is it's a little in flux in that the IRS has cut back on revenue officers. And they're, they're really overburdened right now because of all the government cutbacks. And then there right. was the shutdown last fall. But again, they're breathing down people's throats all the time. And so that's what we do. And the phones are constantly ringing for people that need help. And that's a good thing for you because you're able it's, to help them once the phone rings. Yes. And with three offices, it keeps my entire staff busy. Now, I'm sure a lot of these calls, everyone's situation is a little unique, but I'd love it if you can maybe share a, a similar story that a lot of your, your clients go through. Well, I, I had a gentleman in my office and he owed a lot of payroll taxes. In fact, they were coming after his wife. And the first thing I did was to get her out of any trouble with the Internal Revenue Service. I had to convince them. She really didn't have anything to do with the business. So we got past that hurdle, but for like eight or nine months, they wanted $1,000 a month out of the guy. He owed about 150000 in payroll taxes. So one day I scheduled a meeting with the revenue officer and my client in my office. Mm -hmm. And after about an hour, hour and a half, I was able to convince them to lower his payment to $300 a month for 10 years. Well, wow. he was crying when he got out of there because he's paying like a a dime for every yeah. dollar that he owed to the IRS. He was just ecstatic with the result. I mean, this is really life-changing things that you do for a lot of these folks. It is, I mean, it, it can be threatening in terms of their life. I had a woman come to me once and she was so traumatized by the whole process, she was shaking, literally shaking, and she wouldn't open her mail. She threw the mail at me and said, here, you open it and you tell me what's in here because she said, I can't do it anymore. She said, I'm too scared of this whole process. Wow. So that's really what I do is, I'm sort of their Alka-Seltzer. I yeah. take care of it. Once they come to me, they know that they're they're going to have somebody that deals directly with the IRS because it's too complicated. Right. They want to make it complicated for the. They don't want them to understand what's going on. Right. And and you deal a lot with the government and a lot of red tape. I mean, how do you oh. stay ahead of this industry? Because I mean, they're constantly changing laws and rules and regulations, probably too often, right? Right. Well, I belong to a couple of nationwide organizations. Mm -hmm. So I go to seminars on a regular basis. I'll be in Chicago next month for two days. I'll be in LA for three days in, in June attending a seminar. I also get regular updates on a monthly day basis about all the changes in the laws, because you're right. You know, Congress changes things every year. Yeah. So it does take a lot of time to keep abreast of the new developments, but it's something that you have to do. Yeah, now you're enjoying a lot of success today, helping your clients, changing their lives. But if you could turn back the clock, right, if we can go back in time, what would you say maybe to, to a younger version of yourself as you were starting out in this industry? Well, I would, I would tell somebody, it's, it's in my book with Steve Forbes. Okay. One of the things that, uh, and the book was called Successonomics, and one of the things Big I'll never forget. success, too. Bestseller. Yes, yeah. bestseller on Amazon, number one. But one of the things that I talked about is growing up and, and the principles that my mother and my father and my great aunt instilled. And one of those is, you know, I've gone through rough times like everybody else. But she always told me, no matter how tough times were, that's no hill for a stepper. So I would tell everybody to just persevere, 
keep it up. There's going to be long days. You're mm -hmm. going to go through rough spots, but you got to just keep pushing and pushing and never stop learning. I'm 60 and I'm going to do more in my 60s than I've ever done. And I'm always trying to learn new things. Yeah, and for everyone who is learning some new things, watching Times Square today here in New York City, uh, wh where can they learn more about what you do? Maybe you can help them get out of a rough situation as well. Well, I have three offices. I have one in St. Genevieve, Missouri, which is a small historic town, an hour south of St. Louis. It's the oldest town west of the Mississippi. I have an office in St. Louis and one in Columbia, the home of the Mizzou Tigers. I go to all <laughs> three of those offices. Uh, but if you want to get a hold of me, the quickest and best way is to go to LanceDruryLaw.com. That's L-A-N-C-E-D-R-U-R-Y Law.com. Uh, it's a great website. You go there and you can find out all th kinds of things about what I do and how I help people and how to get in touch with me. Great. So LanceDruryLaw.com. Lots of resources, information. They can get in touch with you. Lance, thanks for coming out to New York. Enjoying the beautiful weather with us. Yes. And uh, thanks for being on Times Square today. Thanks, Greg. Thank you.